Good morning. It is the 26th of May. We are looking at gold. I just wanted to make a point here. If you look at the five minute chart, you can see that it's got a beautiful uh, downtrend and it is coming very close to the moving average, which is our trigger point. Now, all we have to do is wait for it to go up and then take a sell, correct? Except this is only half the picture. If you have to get the whole picture, we have to go to the anchor chart at one hour and in one hour also you see it is coming down. But there's something here. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, let me just. Now that is a double bottom. Now when a double bottom happens, the possibilities of it reversing up for a bit is very high. So on a one hour chart, if it's going to be reversing, it's going to affect the five minute chart and it's going to reverse. So it's very important to pay attention. This area here, it rejected once, it's come back. So we have to see, will it reject or will it clear this area? So to get a bigger picture, better picture, let's look at this. So this is the area of the double bottom, right? Let me just delete this for the moment. Okay. So on a four hour chart, it was a uptrend. But what's happening is the price is only closing the gap between the two moving averages. So this is a between the moving average movement. So it if it goes down, also if it, if it goes down, it will only go down to this and then it will reverse. So that means, this is a 4 hour chart, that means on a 1 hour chart, this downtrend that we see on a 1 hour chart, is momentary is 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 only uh, for the moment it will reverse back to a uptrend right look it was always an uptrend it's a momentary downtrend so this is showing us there's going to be an uptrend soon which is why we should not fall for this remember when we saw like this we should not fall for it right look you should wait because it gold is very different from indi indices it can reverse very rapidly without any uh, warning even though it has such a such a huge gap between these two moving averages it can close the gap in one candle if uh, it decides to so when you're trading gold always get a bigger picture get a one hour and if the one hour is not too clear go to the four hour so that you can see now four hour says it's an uptrend one day says it is a downtrend so one day is way too much because we're not swing trading so we'll just do four hours four hour so now what are we saying look at this 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 area here in the four hour okay so this is the area of uh, structure here there was uh, uh, resistance resistance and then it became support support so if it breaks out of this part it is going all the way till here right if it breaks out of here it's going all the way till here about 81 points 60 60 points right so we know it's going to go 60 points before it reverses back and it is going to reverse back because when it comes to the this blue moving average it will meander a little bit and it will bounce back that's what it will do right or it can go through so one of those two things will happen so we have to be very careful then we go to a one hour and in a one hour let me just delete this in a one hour we see this double bottom starting so we wait to see will the double bottom be respected and how much of it will be respected now the chances are it will go till this till this part and then reverse reverse for 60 points and then go up so you can ride it for 60 points so what you can do is, if it starts reversing, you keep your take profit at 60 points, ride it for 60 points, then wait for it to clear and go up. That's what you can do, right? So then you come to the five minute and you, sorry, you execute on the five minute. Now as you can see the reversal, it is, uh, the one hour is reflected on the five minute. There you go. See what I told you? So now, Let's go to the one hour. 
it was a minor movement here look at this minor movement but it reflected huge look at this huge on this so keep an eye so gold cannot be traded only on one chart that you have to have multiple charts constantly so that you can you can see this now why do I draw this just to see whether it will break through this and if it will break through that in a one hour <laughs> how small it is we see that so do you, you remember that uh, you remember this we had drawn this level here so it breaks through this so that's what you will see but on a five minute it looks like a massive move on a five minute it looks like a massive move so so I conclude with this don't jump to conclusions on the gold don't treat it like you treat the NAS or the DAX or Wall Street treat it differently study the 1 hour the 4 hour and the 5 minute if you want to complicate your lives further you can do 15 minute and you can do a 10 minute and you can do 15 minute also but it's too much just do 1 hour and 5 minute if the 1 hour doesn't give you clarity look at the 4 hour see it's coming down it'll come down till here so the 4 hour can supersede the 1 hour just so that you know so even though there's a double bottom here the 4 hour may not respect the 1 hour double bottom may not I'm saying which is why this could go down but look at this steep pull up this is a 5 minute this is a 5 minute look at this it came down yes it almost faked you into thinking the move is ready if you were only watching the 5 minute you would have like oh yes the move is ready but look at this huge fake so it's a matter of waiting and watching but you get some wonderful moves if you're patient <laughs>